this man really wanted to say. Truth is, I am Iron Man. Meet Richard Browning, the founder and chief test pilot at Gravity Industries, who designed and built a real-life Iron Man-like jet suit. Richard's original prototype suit, called the Daedalus Mark I, was created in 2016 in just 10 months, and he spent the last 4 years developing it into the current version, now just called the Mark II. This jet suit has two mini jet engines on each arm, and a larger one on the backpack. All jet engines combined produce 1050 horsepower, and is capable of flying up to 12,000 feet, but in all of Richard's videos, he usually only flies close to the ground under 100 feet. There are two main types of jet backpacks. The traditional James Bond style that has been around since the 70s that uses peroxide propellant and then later upgraded to jet engines such as the JB11 jet pack. And now Richard's new design of the Mark II Iron Man style jet suit. Both of these jet backpacks have their pros and cons such as the JB-11 jetpack can fly at up to 200 miles per hour for about 12 minutes, but the Mark II jet suit can only fly up to 85 miles per hour for about 5 to 10 minutes. But its main benefit is, since the jet engines are on your arms, you can move your arms around to be more agile and precise in your movements, especially at low speeds. Richard's initial suit prototype provided just enough thrust to lift him and the suit off the ground. But just like in the movie Iron Man with Tony Stark in the Iron Man Suit Mark I, he went through various early models and designs to find an engine layout and configuration that was easier to control than the early models and performed much better. The original suit required an enormous amount of physical control from the pilot due to the forces it achieved from its jet engines. Richard may not be Iron Man, but he is a real life superhero in his own right. Richard Browning is an ex-Royal Marine with an extremely regimented exercise routine consisting of cycling over 150 kilometers, running 40 kilometers, and doing three intensive calisthenic sessions per week, which has given him the physical strength and balance to control the jet suit. Richard says, it does require a certain amount of arm, shoulder and core strength to control the suit, but a reasonably fit person can use the jet suit. Such as in one video on the Gravity Industries YouTube channel, they are training people to use the jet suit, and Richard claims most can fly after one day of training. They even had the YouTuber Tom Scott learning to fly in the suit. Even though the JB-11 jetpack and the gravity jet suit look like competing technologies, they are both different designs with different purposes in mind. The JB-11 jetpack has potential military and commercial applications, whereas the gravity jet suit has potential sport applications in the form of racing. But it also has potential for first responder applications, such as a paramedic in remote hard to get to locations, as seen in videos on their channel. And of course, lastly, as an expensive toy for the rich. Richard has developed this jet-powered exosuit over four years, with the end goal to sell to consumers. You can currently buy one of these suits for 450,000 US dollars, but you don't get to take it home. It stays at Gravity's facility, where the owners must visit to fly it. Now obviously, at that price, only the very wealthy can afford to spend that kind of money on something they won't even be able to take home, and to spend even more time, money and effort to travel to Gravity's facilities just to fly it. But if you are really wanting to fly in the jet suit, and to be honest, who wouldn't, you can pay for a two-day pilot training course, where you get trained to fly in the jet suit, but even that will cost you $19,500. Now I know a lot of people will say it's pointless and a waste of money, 
And yes, for most of us it is. But remember, Richard has spent a lot of time and money on developing a new category in aviation. And since only a very select few will ever own one, he has to be able to recoup his investment. But like with any new technology, over time it will come down in price. But I just doubt it will happen anytime soon. But in the meantime, Gravity Industries YouTube channel puts out a lot of new videos all the time showing off what it can do. So why not pop over to their YouTube channel and check it out. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.